Okay, so part two of this lesson is going to be to use my black Sharpie to outline the lines that I'd like to keep in my picture. So I'm gonna stay right on top of my pencil marks and only outline the lines that work for me in my picture. Keeping it basic and working neatly. Really take your time on this. This can make or break your work, this part of the project. Don't rush through it. I'm gonna solid, make those solid black. And these are my feet. made the bottoms of my feet a little flatter. And I'm just gonna go over my background lines as well. Turn my paper, just easier for me. And after I do this, I'm going to sketch in some patterns lightly. Um, before I choose my color for my patterns, I'm just gonna go back to pencil and just, I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but I'm just going to lightly decide what I'm gonna do in different areas. And then I can choose my colors and set to work on my coloring. So, he does this, this is um, a distinct pattern of his. He does this line like this, and then this one has a curl. And then he does like little dots, and then some of the lines are like straight, and he goes like that. Uh, that's weird, he just repeats this pattern. It was some sort of graffiti that he saw or something. So, he, But you see this over and over again in his work. And so that's what that is gonna be. This one's gonna be stripes, and I'm just putting these in lightly. Um, and then I'll come back to them and finish them up. This is gonna also be a stripe, but it's gonna go in the other direction. This is gonna be that graffiti-like pattern again with the dots and like that. And that's gonna just repeat um, again and again. He likes this curly hue thing that he does and these dots. like that. This one's going to have giant circles. Giant circles in it. And this one's just going to have little lines like this. And this one's going to have two lines and a dot. 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 And a dot. Over and over again. And then this one's gonna have diagonal stripes this way. This one's gonna have smaller circles. This leg is gonna have bigger circles. This one's gonna have stripes. Polka dots. And this is gonna have the graffiti mark. And the dots. He's gonna have lines in this direction on this one. Um, this direction on this one. He's gonna have two lines and a scoop. Two lines and a scoop. Two lines and a scoop. Two lines. And then this ear is going to have polka dots. And this line is going to have a straight line and a polka dot, a straight line and a polka dot. So his colors and his patterns repeat over and over again. And here's um, the deal. You don't have to use his patterns. You can come up with your own patterns. If you have better ideas or something that you like, um, go for it. So um, now I'm going to set to color. Some of these are solids. Some of these are solids, which is why I didn't put patterns in them. I'm gonna set to work in my marker. 
I'm going to find some colors that I like and go for it. So you do not need to copy his colors, but if you do like his colors and you want to go right from that design, you can pull up, you can try, type R-O-M-E-R-O, -E Ramiro, Brito, B-R-I-T-T-O, in your Google search bar to find a picture of a dog. You just write Romero Brito dog in the search bar and it will bring you to a picture that he painted of a dog. Now he's painted lots of pictures of dogs so you'll have to do a search for his exact colors if you want to but you do not need to use his colors. In fact I like everyone's to look a little different so I'm going to have lots of kids working on this and everybody's dog is going to look a little bit different because um, you know we're all just drawing freehand on our own but um, the nice thing is that your colors can all be different from each other they don't have to be the same so you decide you can use whatever colors work for you on your picture get out of yellow get out of yellow here I love how brightly colored Ramiro's work is. He combines um, cubism and he combines um, graffiti art and pop art. Those are the styles that he combines in his work. And um, this is also going to be a yellow here. If you want, you can use Sharpie to go over your patterns and then erase the pencil. My pencil's not smudging on this because I did it real light. Then I'm going to come in with an orange on top. An orange on top like this. And I will continue to work on mine. And if you don't have marker, you can of course use colored pencil or crayon or paint um, or crayon, whatever you want. All right, I'll continue to work on mine. You work on yours. Have fun.